Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and tonight I am going to show you how to uh, take your BNB from KuCoin and swap it for any other Binance smart chain type token. Like, for example, um, Baby Doge, um, Safe Boom. Um, any of those coins that you cannot get on the Ethereum network that you need to get it through uh, Binance Smart Chain type. Uh, I believe Floki Inu is also a BSC type token. Basically, any BSC, any BSC type token, you're gonna have to go to Pancake Swap. That is the uh, big. That is the uh, the uh, big exchange for Binance type tokens. So in the previous video. We had uh, got bought some Bitcoin from Coinbase. We swapped. We moved it over to KuCoin, and I had to swap it over to BNB. And this is the process that we have to do for New Yorkers, because unfortunately, Binance.com, Binance.us is banned in New York. We have no access to either one. And if we want to get our BNB type tokens, this is the process that I do to get that. And now I'm going to move over this BNB to my wallet, my MetaMask wallet, so I can swap it on PancakeSwap for another type token that I want to do. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move our BNB back to our main account. Okay? And the reason why we have to do that is because we're going to withdraw our BNB to... The MetaMask wallet. Okay. So we're going to go to. Trade. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Transfer. Okay. There you go. Sorry about that. Um, so we're going from. The opposite that we did on the last video. We're going from our trading account. Back to our main account. Because we want to withdraw. The BNB. And we're going to move it over to our MetaMask wallet. Okay. So the coin is the BNB coin. I'm going to move all of it. Again, if you do not want to move all of it, you put the amount here. I'm going to go ahead and move all of it back to my main account. I'm going to click on confirm. And there it is. Okay. Successful. So now we're going to go back to our main account. And there it is, okay? BNB, Binance Coin, Binance Smart Chain is there. Now it's 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 on the main account. Now we can withdraw our BNB to our MetaMask wallet. Now we want to withdraw our BNB from our KuCoin account to our MetaMask wallet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on withdraw and as you can see here um, they're gonna want to know your wallet address that is your MetaMask wallet address so we're gonna go to our MetaMask okay I'm already logged into my MetaMask um, I am on the Binance Smart Chain mainnet okay make sure you're on that one okay not on Ethereum, not on the other one, Binance Smart Chain. Now, by default, when you do set up your MetaMask account, uh, Binance Smart Chain is not going to be included. You're going to have to manually add that later on. I can make a separate video on that later on. But right now, mine's already added there. You're going to go on the Binance Smart Chain. That's the one you're going to pick. And this is it right here. Okay. So what they want is the wallet address. So you're going to copy. You're going to go back to KuCoin. The wallet address is going to be that one. The one from your MetaMask wallet, okay? The network is going to be, um, that's the one they select, BEP20. The amount, again, you can put whatever amount you're going to put. I'm going to put max. So I'm just going to click on the uh, maximum amount. Excuse me. All right. Yeah, right there. Sorry. So as I clicked on it, it's right there. That's the maximum. I'm going to send all my B, B and B to 
of course, minus the fee. There will be a small fee. Remarks, the, re the fee is right there, actually. Uh, the remarks, the re I'm not going to put any remarks. And we're going to confirm this. And how they're going to confirm it is you're going to get an email. I got the uh, authentication is email, uh, my phone, and um, I believe it's, uh, it's going to be six digits numbers. So I'm going to confirm that. Okay. And now we're going to have that. And so let me, okay, this and that. basically it's telling me to confirm. Yes. Uh, we are going to confirm. Now I got to put the trading password first. Um, I'm going to send code to my email. This one is from my phone. Your, your 2FA authentication uh, code. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that one in. And that one, it's going to be a one-time code. Okay, and you have a, you don't give you much time to do this. Otherwise, you have to do it over again. I have to go to my email. Go here. And they already sent me the uh, verification code. It's a one-time code. Just going to copy that. Put it here. And the clock is ticking. And that's it. Submit. And there it is. I just sent my BNB to my MetaMask wallet. Okay. And that's how you do that. That's how you send your BNB from KuCoin to your MetaMask wallet. Okay. And we can also uh, just go to uh, here and click on it. And actually, no, no. Yeah, it was dropped. Sorry. There it is. That's the, that is the transaction. We can look at the transaction here. And you can see now it's BSC scan. Because this is a this is a Binance smart chain. Binance token. So this is a transaction. Uh, you know, I could, I could put the, the wallet address here and I track my transaction. Now on BNP, unlike KuCoin, it doesn't take that long. It's a few minutes. So there it is. It's already there. See? And we can check activity. And, uh, okay, hold on. We need to probably refresh this. Let me just refresh it. Let me go here for a second. I'm going to refresh it. I'm going to go back to uh, Binance. We can update it. Sometime in activity. Okay, it's not showing up right now. But it is updated. It's right there. It's updated. Okay, so. Again, you can just copy the address and put it here. And you'll see the transaction. Okay. As you can see, the transaction is there. And it already uh, already went through. See, success it already went through. Okay, so that's how you track the transaction on the Binance uh, Smart Chain. Okay. BSC scan. Okay. I know there's a lot of stuff to learn, but uh, this is why... I, I know, especially new new people out there. So we no longer need to. Uh, we're done with KuCoin. Now that we have our BNB on our MetaMask wallet, now we want to swap that BNB for a BSC type token. And the one I'm looking for is called Jade. Uh, it's Jade Protocol. Um, again, that is a BSC token. And how you can check that is I I made a video on that on on how to add. Uh, token to your wallet So I'm just going to show you a brief uh, How to check that Because that one is not It's, it's one of the, it's a new coin um, It's not going to be In pancakes file You have to basically manually add it So I'm just going to show you I made video on this already And I'll put the link above For how to add a token How to add a custom token to your MetaMask wallet So the way I go about is here As you can see it is a BSC scan is a uh, BSC type token. I can copy the address and do it the way I show you in the video. But I am going to Jade Protocol, so I want to buy Jade, and I'm going to buy uh, on Pancake Swap, right? So I can add the token right there directly to my wallet, and I want this one. I want Jade. So what's going to happen? MetaMask is going to pop up. It's going to ask me. Uh, I suggest this token. Yes, I do want to add Jade. Okay, and there it is. Now I can go back to Pancake Swap. We're gonna go to Trade. Okay, 
And now I'm going to go to here. I can put in Jade. Actually, it's not going to work like that. So actually, you can go back to um, CoinGecko. You can copy the contract address. I'm going to click on copy. I'm going to go to PancakeSwap. I'm going to paste the address here. Okay, even though I added to my wallet, I I didn't tell PancakeSwap. Uh, so now I'm going to import Jade. Yes, I understand. There's a new token. So I'm going to import it. And there it is. Okay. And um, we want to get the maximum. I want to pay for... Uh, actually, I don't want the maximum because I I need I need some BNB for um for some fees because I also gonna I also plan to stake this so this time we're not gonna use all our BNB so I'm gonna put about uh, the fees are very low for this so I'm gonna put one point I'm gonna say one point three. Because I got zero one point four, I'm gonna put about one point. Um, you know what? I'm gonna put one point two. Okay. And we're gonna put our swap. Okay, and we're gonna convert it to Jade. We're gonna confirm swap. And we have to confirm it. And you can see, yes, we do want to confirm it. Okay, transaction made. You can view the transaction on BSC scan. I am not going to do that. Add J to MetaMask already there. I'm going to close that. We're going to go to our MetaMask. And we're going to scroll down. And there it is. Okay, that is the uh, J token. I purchased the J token and I still got a little bit of BNB left for fees. Okay. So that's how you convert your BNB token to another type of BSC token. As you can see, I have Safe Moon, I have Baby Doge, I have Baby XRP. So I have a few Binance type coins. Not many, but I just have a few. Okay. So this is how you get Binance BNB token and also Binance Smart Chain type tokens, okay? And in the next video, um, I'm going to show you how to stake this token, okay? So I'll be back in a few minutes for the next video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And with that, please send your suggestions about this type of videos. You know, I want these, make these videos for uh, beginners. Like, you know, I was a beginner a few months ago. And and also for New Yorkers, because this is also pertaining to New Yorkers. Okay. So, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.